It was a murder that changed Minnesota. A Minneapolis police officer gunned down in cold blood. Now, 27 years later, that officer's daughter is speaking publicly for the first time in hopes of keeping his killer behind bars. In just a few weeks, one of the men convicted of killing Officer Jerry Hoff begins his push for freedom. And the Hoff family will also have its say on the future of Mawadi Pepe McKenzie. I sat down with Hoff's daughter, who wants to send a message. They are not willing to forgive and forget. Nine one one calls made the night Officer Jerry Hoff was shot and killed capture the chaos of the immediate aftermath. Nearly 30 years later, his daughter, Cindy Hoff Benson, remembers his final dispatch call. You hear him call out, 971, Officer Down, Pizza Shack. And you can hear, this is his last breaths. And you hear the confusion of that night. The night she's referring to is September 25th, 1992. If you lived here then, you likely remember it. An innocent police officer is dead after being gunned down in cold blood. On that night, four gang members looking for revenge against the Minneapolis Police Department decided to kill a cop, went to a restaurant popular with police, found Officer Hoff reading a newspaper on a coffee break, and shot him in the back. 1623 East Lake, pizza check. Do you remember where you were? and how you found out the news? It's about two, three o'clock in the morning, you get a phone call. Police department, your father's been shot. We want you down at Hampton County as soon as you can. That night, Cindy says she and her family received a life sentence, condemned to live without a man who loved them dearly. In his wallet, he only carried a few pictures. One was my mom on her, their wedding day. One was a picture of my daughter. And then there was a picture of us, her kids. So we knew where we all stood. Mom was always first. At 53 years old, Officer Hoff and his wife Marilyn had been looking forward to his retirement just three months away. But instead of planning a trip in their camper to finally see the Grand Canyon, Cindy and her two brothers helped their mother plan a funeral. And we were coming up uphill and we looked back and all we could see were the flashing lights for over a mile, just flashing lights. A.C. Ford Jr. and Monterey Willis were convicted of assisting and planning the killing. Shannon Bowles and Mawadi Pepe McKenzie were convicted of being the trigger men. Bowles and McKenzie received life sentences. But now, nearly 30 years later, Bowles and McKenzie are being considered for parole, and family and community members have some say in whether inmates get released. You and your family yes. have not spoken about this. You haven't wanted to talk publicly. Why now? We want everyone to take the time, write the letter, and just let them know that, hey, we believe that in this state, life should mean life. Cindy already shared those thoughts at Bull's hearing and is now focused on McKinsey. There are people who would say he was 20 years old at the time, nearly 30 years has gone by. Do you think there's a chance he could have changed? My dad didn't get a second chance. We didn't get a second chance and we're still serving a life sentence. Would you ever be able to forgive Pepe McKenzie? God forgives, I don't have to. Is there anything he could say that would make a difference? Nope. He made his statement when he raised that gun, aimed it at my dad's back, and fired. Gosh, I remember that mm -hmm. so well. It's confusing to me. Why is he eligible for parole if he killed a police officer? Yeah, and a lot of people have been saying that on our social media pages. At the time, that was what the law stated. So he received the possibility of parole. But because of Hoff's murder, this case prompted a law change now. So there is no chance for parole for the first degree murder of a police officer anymore. So in this case, what happens next? McKenzie is not eligible for parole until 2022, but this is a three year process. The Hoff family and anyone else can give input to the Department of Corrections now. McKenzie will appear at a hearing later this month and a recommendation will be made. If you want to weigh in and watch the extended interview, you can do that on care11.com and the care11 YouTube page.